I'm Simon, I'm the head grower of Milieu Gardnery and right now we are in our adult cherry tomato crop and in here we got dry gears and we started with dry gears in the winter 2020 and so far we have been very satisfied with it. So in here in Milieu Gardnery we grow different kind of tomatoes and we grow cucumbers in the winter time and then we also grow peppers. And what's special about Milieu Gunnery is that directly the name translated is environmentally friendly growing. That's why we are in a collaboration with the local diary and they supply us with their waste heat and their waste carbon dioxide. Before we started uh, with dry gas, we faced the normal difficulties for vegetable growers in Scandinavia, so, such as botrytis, bad climate, bad growth and also uh, we had high energy prices of course on growing the crops. That has all been eliminated after we did install the dry gears. We were looking for an option to grow better in the winter time uh, especially after we installed LED as light source for the crops and we got together with dry gear and found out that it was a very reasonable solution especially because it was easy to install. It was actually as easy as go buy a TV in the shop, plug it into your house and start to watch TV. Because you don't need to tear the whole greenhouse apart. You install the dry gear, you put electricity to it and then you are actually starting to dehumidify from day one after installation. Very easy and I would have to say that actually all growers can do it. With the dry gas we have uh, a much more even climate and that's actually one of the things that I'm looking for. I'm looking for an even climate and even transpiration during the whole period of the day when the plant has to grow. So with the dry gas inside you have a lot better plant health because you can keep your ventilation in the roof shut you can keep your curtain on and have a stable climate and keep your carbon dioxide inside in your greenhouse, which is really good for your plant and it's really good for your yield and your quality on your products. Growing tomatoes with dry gas immediately reduces your costs simply because you can close your ventilation frames in the roof of the glass house. The dry gas takes care of the dehumidification and very often, 60% of your entire costs on heating your greenhouse is actually dehumidifying. So right away you have a huge cost saving on using dry gas. So what I always say is it depends on what you grow, where you grow and also how you grow it that leads to your actual saving. So, But it's certainly in Scandinavia in between 30 and 60%.